Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series with Dead Eye Games. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe and also press that notification bell. And today we are going to construct a zombie farm in the zombie spawner dungeon that I have seen last episode. Plus, we are going to get uh, diamond gear and hopefully by the end of this episode I can tell you guys what my big base plans are for this season or for this series so let's get started by getting some materials get some stone bricks and then we'll get the stone that I smelted by the way I crafted all of these in off camera well I have nothing to do at home so yeah and then let's get more materials like uh, more stone and then grab some Ooh, why did I place that cobblestone and dirt there that's misplaced I'll just fix that real quick but I'll get more cobblestone because yes we need some building blocks and then stuff to smelt to smooth stone in order we can in order to get stone bricks and the stone cutter well, why did I place that down there <laughs> so yeah we're gonna get some well, I think that's all. That's all. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot the water buckets where I put them. There you go. Uh, the water buckets. Uh, we're gonna make an infinite source of water down there, so that it's not hard to get more buckets and get more water. And what the last thing I need is probably nothing anyway uh, probably soul sand yes we need soul sand so we need to get to the nether to get soul sand maybe let's grab some quartz along the way too because they give experience and finally after walking around in the nether in this warp biome the new blue biome in the nether we finally have some soul sand to get and let's go back to base and then yes then we're back in the overworld and then it's time to sleep because it's night time before we head down to the dungeon to the spawner that we're gonna construct this farm on so yeah uh, let me just uh, organize my inventory because we will get a lot of stuff from the thing while constructing the the dungeon i'm lost i'm i'm losing words right now <laughs> i'm sorry for that uh yeah so what else do we need um maybe i'll need nothing anymore or maybe crafting table would be handy because you would never know that you might need a crafting table down there and then might as well grab some torches and then yeah probably that's everything I need I don't really know well, let's grab some coal and then craft them into torches so there are more torches there yeah we're just gonna craft a ton of torches so that uh, we can light up the place while constructing it because we don't want mobs disturbing their our construction uh, what else do I need uh, uh, I'm gonna retire my iron sword by the way and turn it into a diamond pick uh, wait what a diamond sword oh my god I, I am really lost of words right now 
I'm gonna change my iron sword to the diamond sword because why not? Because we have the diamonds. And yeah. Let's go down to the mines. So oh we need to enchant this first by the way so that it could be faster so we got fortune 2 on our pick what shall we get uh well i don't know maybe it's just fortune 2 oh there you go unbreaking 3 efficiency 4 fortune 2 not a bad pickaxe by the way we can now clear faster than ever before well that's our first enchantment and then let's combine it with a mending book that we got from last episode because that will be helpful in repairing our tools especially that we're making a gr a mob grinder so we can repair our stuff easily basically then let's go down there to the mines <coughs> where our uh, construction of uh, zombie farm that we're gonna do so i'll see you there when we get there so here's the spawner that we found last episode and let me just get things set up and we are gonna do a third person time lapse of the construction of this zombie farm so in this third person time lapse i wanted to talk about the big place the big base that i have in mind so the big base that i have in mind is that um i want it to be historical uh because um i have a fond uh, fascination in history especially greek history because i i get into those things so I'm planning that we're gonna do a uh, something something like the Temple of Zeus in Olymp uh, in Olympia or the Temple of Athena in uh, Athens so, something like that but uh, I'm guessing I and also make a statue of Spartans, the statue of the Spartans, I think that is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it is Ares, the statue, the, the god statue in Sparta, and yes, I am mostly, I'm mostly fond about the history of Sparta, because it's so rich, and you know, watching 300, and then those stuff related to Spartans, uh, the battle of 300 battle of thermopylae you know uh that's the big base i have in mind right now especially we're uh, especially that it's uh, like a comfort zone of my um building style i mean well it's not yet visible in my in my starter base i guess that the comfort zone of my building style but as as the series goes on Maybe you'll discover more about myself in terms of building because uh, yes, I'm more of a redstone guy actually instead of a building guy, but who knows.
So I have spent the next couple of minutes after that construction grinding all my levels. That's why I got level 31. And now I'm heading upstairs so that I can enchant my sword. And here we are upstairs and it is night time as usual. So let's just sleep first. By the way, the name of my camera account is Kyojin. As you can see at the bottom left of your screen. And yeah, now it's morning time, so let's enchant our sword. And uh, let me return all these um, materials first. And then organize my stuff. Uh, let's get the lapis. And then let's enchant our sword. Let's see what enchantments we might get. Mm hmm. A diamond sword and lapis lazuli. Knockback too. Mm. I don't know if it's worth it. Let's see all of this, I guess. Ooh, we got a sharpness for fire aspect to knock back to unbreaking three sword. Let's go. It's a decent sword, if you ask me. Well, uh, it could have been better, but we'll take it anyways. And then let's combine mending so that while we are grinding in the zombie grinder we can repair our sword automatically because we get our experience let's name this sword the excalibur i also like uh king arthur stories just not history so yeah there's my diamond sword with all its gloriness and shininess Well, I forgot to record my strip mining. Well, here's what I got because we got fortune 2. We found a little bit of diamond ores and we got fortune 2, of course. So I got 19 mostly. Uh, I forgot how many diamond ores was that. So let's get these diamonds and turn them into diamond armor we can probably craft a leggings a diamond chest plate and boots so all we need to do is uh, find more diamonds so we can craft ourselves the helmet uh, and there you go I have a set of diamond gear well, not a full set yet, so yeah, uh, we'll retire our iron chest plate, our iron leggings, and iron boots, and then, yeah, basically that's it. Look at this, I'm finally in a blue, shiny, glorious armor in Minecraft. And this is like the first time in any series that I make. So I'll go down back to the zombie grinder so we can get enough levels to enchant our armor. So um, see you guys later. And here we are at the zombie grinder. So uh, let me just AFK here for a while I guess. Uh, well, yeah, let's just do that and then grind the stuff, so, yeah, let me just AFK in this spot, um, so yeah. Ooh, look at what I have found here. Five diamond ores is equal to 11 diamonds. Bro, that's a big deal. Oh, by the way, I got strip mining again after uh, a session of AFKing. And I'll probably AFK more and more at some point. Well, maybe after this episode, I'll AFK and then, yeah. So let me craft a diamond helmet out of this diamonds that we got so that we have a complete set 
of diamond armor already. Okay, so we're back in the surface. We got ourselves our diamond helmet. And then we're gonna hopefully fully enchant all of our gear. Let me just organize my stuff. Why is there gravel in a stone chest? Well, they kind of look the same. That's why. Maybe that's why I misplaced some gravel in our stone chest. And ooh, I have a bunch of redstone and I have six diamonds left. I'll probably use those remaining diamonds for other diamond tools. Maybe shovel, axe, and yeah. So, probably gonna smelt all of the ores that we got from that strip mining session. And then let's retire our iron helmet, put our coal there, and then we're gonna enchant our gear. So, uh huh, diamond helmet, respiration 3, ooh, respiration 3, and unbreaking 3, chest plate protection 4, ah, oh, that's bad. Kind of bad. Fire protection 3, okay. Oh, I ran out of levels. Oof. I ran out of levels. Well, time to go back to the zombie grinder, I guess. And there's a bug in 1.16, in this 1.16 snapshot. I think this is 20W11A and your gear doesn't shine. Although the previous snapshot, the gear does shine. Although in this snapshot, it's uh, easier to upgrade to netherite because you're just gonna have a smithing table if I'm correct and then put your gear there and your netherite there then it will keep the enchants unlike the last update. So here we are back at the surface. And we're gonna enchant our boots. Uh, blast protection 4. Ooh, we got blast protection 4 and unbreaking. Not bad. Well, I actually wanna grindstone our, the chest plate. Uh, ooh. Wait, what? Doesn't give everything back. Doesn't give everything back, huh? Oh, well. The reason why I did that is because I want Unbreaking 3 also, so... Oh my god. Going back to the zombie grinder, I guess. Okay, so we just finished farming some zombies and have 30 levels again. So... We're going back to the surface once more. Okay, and we are back in the surface and it's night time. Oh, well, it's always night time when I go up here I guess but maybe not every time but most of the time so let's enchant our diamond chest plate once more ooh blast protection 4 thorns 2 okay not bad I'll, I guess I'll just enchant I'll try to enchant a book for unbreaking 3 or get it in a villager trade I mean who knows I might find another village let's craft these lapis into blocks so that our richest richest um chest is not that very cramped in i have a lot of resources as you know because of strip mining especially iron i mean i don't know how many iron do i get every time i strip mine and speaking of iron, maybe in the next couple of episodes, I might make an iron farm. And if not an iron farm, maybe a villager trading hall, a proper villager trading hall. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all for me today. Stay tuned to the next episode. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Goodbye. <laughs>